Hey there, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Surprise lock. Uh, you know, I just got Cramorant and also Ralts, actually. Uh, but I, I trained up Cramorant a little bit more. Well, trained up is, you know, it's, it's, uh, I, all I did was give it the, uh, <laughs> the XP candies I had. But, you know, it's trained up now, so it's, it's a, good, it's a little stronger than it was before. I can also get an encounter in here. Did I already do that? Yeah, I did. I, that's where I got Cramorant from. Okay, well, I don't need to fight any more Pokemon here. All I have to do is make it through this mine. It's not a very long dungeon, and it's a pretty straight shot, so... It's not that much to do in here. Except for battle a couple of trainers, which I'll do with Cramorant, why not? Worker Keith. Cramorant should be able to fight this, right? I mean, I'm weak to rock, but it's just a rock and roller. It should be okay. Oops. Surprised he crit me, but that's okay. I'm faster. There's nothing he can do about this. I do want to get this thing a little bit trained up for the gym at least, because it's the only thing I have on my team that actually beats grass. I know it, you know, it's not, it doesn't resist grass, but beating grass is pretty important for me right now since I don't have anything else. Hopefully it learns some good moves like air cutter or wing attack or something. I don't think there's that much here. I think there's like a TM over here, maybe? Yeah, it's for Rock Blast, right? Well, I doubt I have anything that can actually learn Rock Blast, but I can still check, right? Yeah, nothing can learn it. That's okay. I'm still disappointed that it can't learn Waterfall, though. I remember, I, I did see one of the complaints about this game that was like, there aren't very extensive dungeons. Which, I haven't, you know, played through the whole game yet, but based on this, <laughs> this place, like, I can definitely believe it. Cause this, this mine is just, there's no off paths or anything, it's just, it's just, you follow the track and then you'll make it to the end, I need to switch, these things have rock throw. Uh, it's just one, you follow the track and then you'll be at the end of this tunnel. There's, it's not like Mountain Moon where there's, it's like super confusing, or Rock Tunnel where you literally have to navigate throughout an actual maze. I'm not saying that I necessarily want that, but like, you know, it's definitely a huge difference. I do feel like that places in this game could have a bit more depth. Or at the very least, be a bit longer, because this this mine isn't very long. Because when a place is too short, it doesn't feel like an area you were actually really in. You just kind of pass through it. It doesn't feel like any any place that was meaningful. Because I feel like Mountain Moon or Rock Tunnel feels like a major part of your journey when you play in, like, red or blue. Uh, let's go into... Yeah, let's take it out with Ralts. Ralts should be good, right?
Yeah, all they have is pound. Okay, I was, I was worried they might have something else, but it's not that big a deal if they're just gonna go for pound. I just, I'm just trying to get Ralts evolved as soon as possible. I, I really want to get this thing as a Curlia, because I'll feel much happier once it is. One thing I just realized, too, is that I, I can actually get a Gallade since I have a male Ralts. What's its nature? Ralts is... Oh yeah, it's neutral, right? Okay, yeah, maybe I will do Gallade. Depends on what I have, I guess. If I need a uh, fighting type, then Gallade's a great choice. Because Gallade gets a lot of move coverage, like Night Slash and Leaf Blade. Let's keep moving. This girl with the three timber <laughs> takes a while to beat. It's just that I don't, I don't have very many strong Pokemon right now. Like, Ralts is okay, but it's not very strong. What is Ralts' special attack right now? So, Bunnelby. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look at Bunnelby. Uh, Ralts' special attack is 21. Honestly, Bunnelby's is kinda almost there. Like, even this thing's attack is, like, way higher than Ralts' special attack. Yeah. It's just not doing much damage right now. That's that's another reason I could really use Curlia. Let's just give another Ornberry. I'll heal up and then we will fight her. You know what I think they should have done with, like, the camping cooking thing? I, I like the curry, I guess, but I, I, I wish there were, like, items you could make for, like, you know, healing or stuff like that. Like, it doesn't just heal you when you cook, like, you, you make potions. Well, not necessarily potions, but let's say they made, like, you know, curry as items in your bag that you can give to your Pokemon rather than just eating it right away. And that you can use in battle if you wanted to. And the better you make it, the more health it restores, and the different berries you use, like, changes the properties, like maybe it heals poison or paralysis. Stuff like that. I think that'd be a bit more neat than what it is right now. Alright, a fury attack. I, I, it's, it's really not good. I'm gonna take it instead of swallow. First off, because I don't need swallow. But second, because, uh... If I ever Dynamax, uh, fury attack actually turns into... Uh, Z normal or Z smash or Z strike or whatever it's called. It's a normal type move And it won't miss it won't be as garbage as normal if I Dynamax. <laughs> I mean, I'm never gonna use it. I'm gonna be honest, but That's that's why I'm adding it. I'm not gonna use swallow anyways. It's still minimally more useful and situational than swallow is The problem with using Swallow is like, yeah, it heals you, but not by that much. You'd have to stockpile at least two for it to heal half health, I think. I think it's 25% of your health per stockpile that you have. And if you do that, you're healing, yeah, but you lose your stockpiles. So I don't know if it's even worth it. Like, you better just stockpile three times and just use Rest. Because that would take you less turns to set up, because if you, if you Swallow, you lose your stockpile bonuses. And then you have to stockpile again, and you have to stockpile at least twice again to get half your health back, so... I feel like it'd be, you know, just just teach it rest and stockpile, it'd be way better. Why was its cry so loud? I'm pretty sure Roly Coley has an ability that makes it, you know, go faster when I use a water type move. But this one doesn't.
Good thing about having a fully evolved Pokemon like Clamor on my team is it's super tanky. <laughs> and since we're so early in the game. And the Heavy Duty Boots. Those are... I like them as an item. They're really cool because they finally make certain Pokemon able to be used when in the during Stealth Rock meta. Uh, but they're not very useful in-game because no one uses Stealth Rocks in-game. Oh, right, we have to fight Bead. Okay, yeah, see, this cave is super short. It didn't take me long. There were only three trainers in here, I think, or four. Alright, well, Bead only uses Psychic types, so... I guess I could just... Let's just lead with Cramoran for now. I'll switch out when I uh, need to. What's going on, Bead? Bead is the greatest battle music in this game. Seems a banger. Uh, crap, I'm trying to think on... I'm pretty sure Solosis has really, really high special defense, so I think Peck would be better to go for, but it's still a two-shot. <laughs> It is super annoying when whenever Hop like talks in the middle of battle and he's like, Well, you actually used a super effective move. But I think it's hilarious how like Bead instantly gets pissed off when you do a lot of damage to his Solosis on the first turn. Flail. Uh yeah, I guess let's learn Flail. I don't really need laser focus, I think. As much as I like laser focus, I don't know if I should keep it. I mean, I doubt Bunnelby's gonna see too much use, but, you know, it's fine. Gafita. I doubt he has Shockwave. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can get Shockwave, but I don't think he'll have it. Why is this theme so good? I think it could have, like, a Dark-type move. No, it's just a side beam that's fine. Okay, that's not very fine. Uh, will he have anything else to kill me if I don't hit him? There's no way I'm not hitting him, he... No, this won't miss. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. That Theta doesn't get any priority. But we do have to switch out for Hatreen, because I don't know what its moveset's like. Uh, let's, let's give Bunnelby a chance to shine. This is its first battle. Let's, let's let it go in. I'm probably gonna have to switch out. Honestly, a Psybeam's gonna do too much damage to me. Actually, that's not true. Um, uh, Cheek Pouch will heal me. Or uh, Hatena, not Hatreen. Hatreen's the second form. Yeah, he's definitely going to be faster than me. I'll just go for payback. I hope the music's not too loud. I, I turned it up in the settings. Yeah, one more of those should do it. As long as he's in high roll. Wait, why am I faster this time? That ruins my p payback. Are we seriously speed tied? Quick attack will do it, even if for speed tide. What level does Bunnel be evolved? I'm pretty sure it's just 20. Alright, see ya, Bead. Never talk to me again. Alright, so I can get another encounter now that I'm on the, uh, next route. This is route 4, I'm pretty sure, right? 
And I'm finally caught up to where I was last time, so I'm gonna stop skipping story moments. Because I want to read this stuff now. And everything from here on is pretty much blind, so... Let's get some berries. Just give me some citrus berries so I can use cheek pouch a bit more. So this is my encounter. Uh, obviously it's dupes if I were to keep it on my team, but... You know, that doesn't work because I'm trading it away anyway, so... I could probably water gun, but I'm a little worried that it'll take too much damage from it. Alright, let's get trading. Hopefully I can actually get something good this time. If I get a fire type, that, that would complete my team perfectly. No, not to the party. You're not joining the party just yet. Yeah, so they do still take the berries. by a school bit. And I'll let that trade while I walk around. I'm not going to do a cut just yet, especially since it's not meant to be a member on the team. Uh, it's not going to join the party yet, so it's okay if I keep walking around. It's not a big deal if I don't get it right now. For now, let's do a bit more trading. Trading. Training. And, oh, I need to give Bunnelby another Ornberry before I forget. I still want Cramorant to be a little higher leveled. Ooh, a Galarian Meowth. I'm pretty sure they're Steel-type. For some reason, I don't, I'm not sure why they're Steel. <laughs> I'm not sure what about that is Steel, but... I guess I don't make the rules. It's kind of weird how Meowth got, you know, an Alolan form and a Galarian form. Kind of strange there. I wish they gave that to Purloin instead or something. This other cat Pokemon that needed it. If they made that Skitty, that'd be much better, I think. Skitty needed it <laughs> real bad. Don't be difficult. Why are you using a potion on your Seedon? It's not even going to save it from the next pack. And Butterfree. Uh, what do I have for Butterfree? I guess I could just peck it again, but... I guess that's all I can do. I don't really have anything that beats it. Well, he's faster than me now. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't use sleep powder or anything. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. Don't hit yourself, please. I'm not really in the mood for that. That gave crazy XP, what? 
and Screech. Uh, I guess Screech is actually pretty useful. Let's get rid of Swift. Don't need Swift at all. The trade should be done too. Yeah. No? Okay, never mind. Maybe it doesn't search for a wonder trade while you're in a battle. I don't know what the cleanse tag is really for, since you don't have to encounter wild Pokemon. You can avoid even the grass encounters. A cleanse tag doesn't seem like it'd be super useful. Oh, hello! I'm pretty sure this evolves into Alcremie. It's pretty cute, but it's, it's, it is, okay, you know, a lot of people usually complain about a lot of Pokemon looking like Digimon. This is the Pokemon that looks most like a Digimon. If you ever, if you, if don't even know what I'm talking about, like, just look up in-training Digimon, and they all will look like that. Because that was one of the people's main complaints about Mega Evolution. But, like, if anything looks most like a Digimon, it's definitely Alcremie's first form. And I'm saying that as someone who played a bunch of Digimon. Time to switch. Let's try not to get Cramorant murdered by an Electrike. Uh, let's let's go into Funky. I just need to name Cramorant. I haven't had a chance to do that. Well, I have, but I I forgot. I'm just trying to think of a good name for it. Bunnelby needs a name too. Lotad. Uh, for Lotad, I guess I could. Eh, let's go into Chip. Chips are gonna evolve fairly soon. It evolves at 24. Hits. Oh, come on. Every time... I feel like whenever you use a multi-hitting move, they always stop one short of what they need to do. You know, I think they should add an item that, like, gives you a higher chance to hit multiple times for multi-hit moves. Not exactly, like, skill link multiple times, like, always five hits, but I feel like there should be an item that, like, increases the chances of getting four or five hits. Like, maybe it completely prevents you from getting two hits, and it'll always let you get three, four, or five hits. That'd be a cool item. I feel like it would help a lot of Pokémon that, like, rely sort of on multi-hitting moves. It might be too strong on Greninja, though. Because Ash Greninja is known for being a, a little busted with its priority Water Shuriken. But it doesn't matter. I mean, Greninja's not in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't even think it would be a factor. Energy powder, uh, no. Why did I think energy powder was a held item? Did I just pick up a held item? Oh yeah, I, did, I picked up a shark beak. Uh, we're gonna stick with the mystic water. Actually, no I'm not, because I'm gonna forget to swap it when the gym starts. <laughs> Let me just put it on now. Oh, the trade, right? I completely forgot that was even a thing. Another Dreepy, what a surprise. I've gotten like 20 of these total. It's in a Beast Ball. Kinda wish I kept this Dreepy.
I just want to check it. Obviously, it doesn't matter because it's dupes. It's timid with clear body. I, I think I already mentioned this, but I wish mine was clear body and not infiltrator. I'm not sure exactly how much infiltrator will come in handy in game. I know it's a good ability, but you know, it's not as good as clear body, at least in game. I'm an Eevee. I'm full of possibilities. But you should keep me as an Eevee to Gigantamax me, even though Gigantamax Eevee is not very good. You know, I'm, I'm fine with certain Eevee. I, I don't know why they, like, keep promoting Eevee the way they do. I know it's like a cute Pokemon, but they're doing- they're pulling a Pikachu with it, even though, like, Eevee's gimmick is to evolve. Like, they're like, oh, don't evolve your Eevee. Uh, like, in Let's Go Eevee, it was a lot like that. It's like, they give you this Pokemon whose main thing is to evolve into multiple other Pokemon, but you can't evolve it. It's, it's a little bit weird to me. Because that was kind of the reason they invented Eevee. To evolve into multiple things. And then they remove that from you. I wonder how you evolve Eevee into Sylveon in this game. Because Happiness and Friendship are actually the same stat. So... Or Happiness and Friendship. <laughs> happiness and Affection. Why was that so loud? Oh my god. <laughs> the Eevee fainting was incredibly loud. Um, happiness and uh, Affection are the same stat in this game, I'm pretty sure. Or at least they're tied together. So... If you, if you raise its affection, wouldn't that just make it evolve into an Umbreon or Espeon? Or maybe they changed it to a stone, because I know they changed uh, Leafeon and Glaceon finally into Leafstone and Ice Stone. That's actually a great change, I love that they did that. Um, just Maybe they did the same with um, Sylveon, and I just wasn't paying attention. I did trade away the other wait, Dreepy, right? It is... yeah, it is searching. Okay, that's fine. Man, this kid is fierce looking. Dragon Ghost is a pretty good type. It resists so many things. It's not weak to too many things. I mean, they don't really cover each other's weaknesses, but they do... Everything they're, like, not weak to, they pretty much resist. Because it's weak to Dark and Ghost, and then Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. That's five weaknesses, but then, like, it resists everything but, like, Steel and Rock. And, and flying, and okay, I, I, maybe I'm making a bad point here. <laughs> I'm kind of countering my own point by uh, talking about it. So let's just pretend I was right to begin with. Yeah, I feel like some cries are incredibly loud and others aren't. I actually did turn up cries a little bit. Oh, okay, good. Jeez, don't scare me. I don't want to lose my Dreepy to a Grubbin. I'm gonna mess with the sound settings again after this. This was a bad switch. I don't really want to switch into a bite. Or a bug bite. Yeah, that's a bug bite. Yeah, I could take it, okay. No! Oh my god. Well, bug bite's the strongest attack, so I think I can survive it fine. But I'm going to switch anyways, because I don't want to lose vaults like this. Let's just go straight into I don't feel like having my thing stolen. Crime Rant's just going to peck it. I know he could have, like, Spark, but... It's coming from a grub, and I should be okay.
Finn Missile. That's not bad. Okay, let me just do this trade. Hopefully this is the trade so I don't have to cut, because I want to finish the trade in this episode, obviously. A combi! But it's male! Alright, so this is actually a thing that uh, I do <laughs> to prevent from... You know, issues happening. Um, so, male combi and male salandit are actually banned. <laughs> uh, it's 35, alright, cool. I wasn't actually gonna ban it. Um, I, that was just me kidding, because I didn't want a combi. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut until I get something. Be right back. Alright, so I'm pretty sure, I actually didn't check yet, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Cancelled that, but uh, oh hey, yeah. okay, that yeah, is level one. I got an Eevee. Um, and I was just talking about, oh, how do I get Sylveon? Oh, it's Adamant. Never mind, no Sylveon. Scratch that. It's a uh, Flareon and or Leafeon. Um, probably gonna be Leafeon actually, cause I like Leafeon. <laughs> that's that's it. I I like Leafeon and I want a Leafeon. And it has Wish and Yawn and Curse, which is awesome. And actually, since it has Curse, I might just make it a Flareon because. Uh, Curse is a bit better on Flareon than I think. I think than uh, Leafeon. What's Leafeon's speed? Leafeon is uh... well. The thing about Leafeon is um... if you get Sunny Day and it has Chlorophyll, I don't know what Anticipation turns into for uh, Eevee. I'll I'll check because if it's Chlorophyll, I might make it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. Uh, but I, I think it's probably gonna be a Flareon because. I do already have Thwacky, so I don't really need another grass type like that. Especially another physical one that's basically the same high defense and low speed type thing. Uh, but anyways, I'm like this episode's over. <laughs> it's gone on for long enough. Um, I'll, I'll I'll be fighting the next gym next episode too, so that'll be fun, and I can get another encounter in the city uh, by fishing. I think. Anyway, yeah. See you next time.